So in case you haven't heard, school is out for summer. The kids are home, my kid is home, home every single day through the summer for weeks. Yay, I hope you, hope you were ready for it because <laughs> they, they are home and soon the cries will be heard from their bedrooms. I'm bored. Yep, me too. I am bored of hearing you say that every single day. But uh, yeah, no, summer can be fun. It can be fun, absolutely. But the good news is, there is good news on the horizon. And that is the school has told you when school is back. School will return. See, there's hope. School will return, the kids will go back to school. In fact, I have a little bit of inspiration for myself. I keep a little reminder for myself about that, that great and glorious day. It's here in my back pocket. I keep this uh, on me all the time, just so that I can remember. It's August 22nd. August 22nd, people. That's when the kids go back to school. <laughs> Isn't that nice to know? You know the date. You know exactly when it's going to happen. You know exactly when it's gonna happen. You can be prepared for it. You can anticipate it. You can get ready for it. Go to the store and buy school supplies and new school clothes and start getting the kids up a little bit earlier just so that they are ready to get up early to go to school, you can be prepared. There's a verse in the Bible where Jesus tells his disciples, I go and prepare a place for you so that you can be with me and I can be with you. It's a great passage. And it's the exact words that a Jewish groom would tell his bride the day they were betrothed, so the day they get engaged. He says, Honey, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna build a house for you. And when it's done, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna take you home to be with me. We're gonna be home together. And it's really beautiful that Jesus uses those exact words. The same words that a groom makes to his bride. But can you imagine, can you imagine being that bride and saying, okay, goodbye, honey. And your, your fiance goes off to build a house. And then you wait and wait and wait like is this guy coming back i mean how long does it take to build this house right how, how when is jesus coming back i mean people write books about it they say oh i you know i figured out the bible code and i know exactly when jesus is coming back and there are people that give long sermon series on prophecy or revelation in the hopes of getting you excited because you know what end times sells end time sells because we want to know everybody wants to know when's the end of the world when's armageddon when's jesus coming back when's judgment day what's the second coming going to look like what's heaven going to be like am i going to have wings am i going to get to eat in heaven like we have all these questions so end time sells because we don't have a date we don't know and we don't like not knowing we don't like waiting what do you think? Do you think Jesus is coming back? Do you think Jesus is coming back in your lifetime? Do you think he could? Do you think it's possible that Jesus could come back before I finish recording this video? Is that possible? Do you think Jesus could come back before you finish watching it? What do you think? Is it possible? And if it is possible, how does that affect the way you live? I mean, if Jesus could return at any moment, at any second, how does that change how you spend your life? Or does it? And if it doesn't affect your life, is it something that you really believe? At Walden Church, we're gonna go through our very last sermon looking at Jesus in 3D, taking on the position that if we put on a different set of glasses, can we see Jesus in a brand new way? And so we're gonna close out the series by asking the question, could Jesus return at any moment? We're gonna ask some pretty tough questions about how we live. I hope to see you there.